This lesson is called Time Savers. We're going to take a look at what your keyboard and mouse can do for you. Vegas gives you a veritable plethora of keystroke shortcuts. Try as I might, I have not been able to memorize them all. Luckily, Vegas provides a trifold card if you bought the product in the box version. If you downloaded it, you can go directly to Help Keyboard Shortcuts. And here we have a listing of all the different keyboard shortcuts by type that are available to us. Boggles the mind. I seem to use two keystroke combinations more than any others. The first one is the letter D, which allows me to cycle through the different cursor types. And the second one is to toggle ignore event grouping. I find I'm always making groups and then dragging things in and out of them, and I can't always remember what the status is. I constantly toggle ignore event grouping on and off. The keystroke combination in Vegas is Control shift u I find that one ridiculously hard to do, and it means that I have to take both hands off the keyboard. I created my own, which is Control w You'll recall from our journey to Options, Preferences, Keyboard, that we can control all of the different keys, all of the different key bindings that Vegas has. Scroll down in the command list until you find the command you wish to change, and then put the new keystroke combination right here and click Assign. That's exactly what I did with Control-W. So now Control W will act as a switch for ignore event grouping. On the playback side, the J, K, and L keys work the way you expect them to. Shift M selectively pre-renders video. This is handy for taking a look at how specific transitions and effects will render without actually rendering the entire project. Shift B causes a background RAM render. You can set up the size of this rendering space by going to Options, Preferences, Video, Dynamic RAM Preview, Maximum and Megabytes. I have a creaky old system. You should set this to the maximum that you can. If you, if you have a gigabyte available, set it to a gigabyte. If not, set it to 512K or 256K, as high as you can get it. If your project has compositing and a ton of effects, you may not be able to preview it just the way it's going to be. That's why you want to do a background RAM render. When you do a pre-render, Vegas writes a temporary file to your hard drive. If you don't want to deal with countless more files on the hard drive, Shift B Build the RAM preview is the way to go. There's a button here for Auto Ripple. I frequently toggle this one on and off. The keystroke by default is Control L. You can also determine what you wish to Auto Ripple. Affected tracks, affected tracks, bus tracks, markers, and regions, or all tracks, markers, and regions. Enable snapping is something that I use frequently. Toggle that with the F8 key. You can override enable snapping if it's enabled by shift dragging. Want to quickly create a group? Use the selection edit tool to highlight the clips you wish to group. Hit G. Now they're a group. Want to remove this one from the group? Hit U. Want to create a marker? Hit the M key. Type in the name of the marker if you wish. Want to create a region? Select an area. Hit R. Now we have a region. Want to insert a command marker? Hit C. 
You can link to a website. You can bring up headlines, all kinds of things. We'll talk a lot about commands later. You can edit the length of a clip using the numeric keypad. Hit the 7 or 9 key to move to the beginning or end of the frame. Then use the 1 and 3, 4 and 6 keys to trim the clip. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. If you hit control mouse wheel, you scroll vertically. If you hit shift wheel, you scroll horizontally. Just a few of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Vegas.